Check these out. These are new Toyota Land Cruiser images that we found on the Toyota official Japanese website. Yeah, this is the new Land Cruiser in different imagery. Uh, little teaser images that a lot more than we've seen so far. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and you may have learned yesterday on our website that the Total Land Cruiser will debut on August 1st. It's a story that Jill Simonello wrote, managing editor. She will be there August 1st for the reveal at 9.20 in the morning, and, or 9.20 p.m., and we'll see the whole new Land Cruiser. Now, they did release this image yesterday that shows the Total name on the front and the strong, bold kind of grill to it. And the bold kind of look to it reminds me a lot of an FJ Cruiser, personally. And so you may have seen that image. I'm going to go down and show you the other images, and we'll go back to those Toyota Japan images as well. And real quick, what we expect, we expect basically to be a GX. It's going to take the GX um, size, maybe a little bit bigger. It's going to have some differences between the LX, and it's going to be more off-road focused. Probably a Trail Hunter version. There'll be an over-trail trim as well, really off-road focused. We'll see if it still has a cool box. It was a big hit with the last generation Land Cruiser. Um, we don't expect a roll down window, we expect a pop out window, maybe see if they do the clamshell thing as well. No one won't have a V8, and it'll have the twin turbo V6s that we've seen better um, vehicles inside Toyota's lineup. And then we have three teaser images so far. We have this guy that you saw from this is Toyota's official um, USA account, and they showed this one, they showed this other one, a silhouetting. You've probably seen this online if you're following Land Cruiser stuff, and we have the other silhouette as well. There's also on Instagram this image right here or this quick little video right here and yeah so that's the land cruiser there on the back and you see that pop out window there as well so how does that mash mash up excuse me with these japanese images that we have and so if i go around i'm going to go around the back real fast because i saw something while i was playing around with this earlier and the back right here so to see this see this kind of signature lights where we have like the two rectangles and the two rectangles in the middle when you go back to this you can see it right there so when it goes back, I can't stop this, by the way, but if it goes back, you can see the two rectangles and two rectangles in the middle. So this is these images look pretty legit, and uh, we got them, like I said, from Toyota's Japan website. So this is Toyota JP slash info slash Land Cruiser brand, and then all of this linked garbage. But this is all in the Japanese. This is a Toyota Japan website. And by the way, Toyota USA uh, spokesman Connor Hoffman gave us permission to use these images. So these are... Legit images from Toyota. It's interesting they put it out different ways. But this is the world debut on, it looks like it's going to go across many countries, which is what Land Cruiser's done for generations. It is the iconic vehicle that Toyota puts into every market. It's the first one they put in. It proves their durability, proves their liability, and that's how they kick it off. So this is a worldwide um, uh, debut of their, one of their strongest products. So if we go back to these images and we kind of scroll around, you can see... We got mud on the sides. It's always, you know, appropriate for the Land Cruiser. We had the similar kind of idea with the Trapsodio kind of um, design there over the wheel wells or wheel well archings. I don't know if Trapsodio is the right word. Wow, big words this morning. Sorry, um, much love. Must have quite a bit of coffee this morning. Uh, we have little fog lamps on there. That kind of interesting styling on the sides, and of course we have a little nature infused these images as we would from Japan. Uh, pretty sleek lines on the back there, and we can see. You know, we see the shark fin on top. Hmm, kind of interesting look there, that rear window. Lightning strikes over the top of the hood. And you can see a really strong and bold hood. And what's interesting is the little styling above the A-pillar, that little black line there. We see that, saw that before. We saw it over here in the back as well. So it's kind of nice to carry that line throughout. I've seen brands do it where they just put it in the back. They don't carry it throughout the overall design. As we come around the front here, we can see the dragonfly on the side. But the... Uh, Big broad shoulders over the wheel wells kind of sticks out quite a bit. It's going to have, again, that big, strong, menacing look to it, or big, strong, rugged look to it. I want to say menacing. It's kind of weird. Um, we have the shifter there on the right. Probably going to go with an 8-speed or 10-speed transmission on this. We have the different drive modes, and we have the selector there. I don't know the dial like the 4Runner has, but this is kind of prior generation Land Cruiser, if I remember correctly. Uh, we have traction control off, and we have a few blanks. So I'm going to probably think... Front um, locker, rear locker, uh, probably going to do that turning thing. If you remember, it actually, you can turn, hold the rear the rear left or rear right tire and actually does a much stronger, tighter turn. Um, we've seen that trail turn assist in different Ford products, but Toyota's had it for many years in their Land Cruiser. And then there is the on the beach, having the fire with the Land Cruiser. Hmm. So, yeah, interesting stuff. I didn't know... Uh, that's kind of the details I have for you on the total Land Cruiser. So we expect to be GX, expect to not to have a V8, and have some V6 as well. 
We're really curious about the price point. I know the prior generation kind of got out of hand really quickly with the price point and kind of soured some people on it. So we're curious about that. And we'll see more, like I said, next week. Yeah. For more videos, check them over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.